has several uses. Some use it for the skin, others use it for their hair, and even the nails. It started out with traditional history, but now it's evolved and become something very fashionable. From people who want tattoos and decide that they don't want something very permanent, so they go for something as temporary as a henna that would last for two weeks or a little more than that, to the brides who want that bridal glow on their wedding day, and even to men, as we've seen a few men jump on the henna train. Henna becomes more and more fashionable by the day. It's an art that I love when we have a report on the art of henna. Enjoy. Henna is a dried powdered leaf of the henna plant. It's mixed with a liquid, sugar, and essential oils to get the proper consistency for body art. Some researchers argue henna originated in ancient India, while others claim it was brought to India by Egyptian moguls in the 12th century. My name is Hadiza and um, I own Dismondu, which is basically a northern traditional beauty parlor. Henna is a plant and um, it's grown in specific areas in Africa, in uh, South Asia, and I think some parts of um, Australia as well. The plant is you know, it, um, it's, when it's dry, it's picked, it's dried, and then it's all meshed up together to form a, a paste. And then that paste is what, you know, when it comes in contact with the skin, it dyes the skin, it stains the skin. Hence, you have henna tattoo. Um, about uh, 22 months now. First of all, you need to know how to, you need to have a passion for drawing, mm -hmm. you know, and um, I grew up in the north, you know, so it's part of the culture mm -hmm. there to have it done. You know, a friend is getting married, you're going for an outing or something, it's sort of mandatory for you to do. So it's something that has been a part of me since childhood. Mm -hmm. And at some point, uh, I just thought, this is our culture, this is our tradition. Why not bring it to the modern people? So yeah, I learned with time and it's been a part of me, really. So it's not like I just woke up and you know, since childhood, it's been there. It's been good, it's been good. Um, I mean, I use myself as a walk-in advert. <laughs> Ad advertisement most times so I people ask me it's a good conversation starter because people are curious you know does it hurt mm -hmm. how long did it take you know uh, how is it done what does it mean you see people ask different questions just today I had a design done for someone and she asked me if this was the real henna and mm -hmm. I said no this is mixed with a bit of chemical, you know. Henna does not come out as in black color. It actually comes out as orange or a bit of red. So because of the chemical in it, that's why it comes out as black. And that's the one we mostly use in our country, Nigeria, here. A lot of people believe that the black is more beautiful and um, yeah, the skin tone also has a bit to do with it. And, but then you get requests of people saying, no, I want the orange one, I want you know, the red one. And it just depends on what the client wants. You give them what it is they ask for. The truth of the matter is there are some people that react to it, right? Mm -hmm. But out of 100%, maybe about 95% they're safe, you know, but the 5%, though they're few in number, but they do react to it. Now, in this particular scenario, it's on, I couldn't, I mean, I wish I could have asked the lady in question if she probably had maybe a body scrub or something that day, you know, if that were the case, you know, that would mean that, you know, her pores were all open, you understand, and if indeed, you know, the reaction to the chemical that would even further aggravate 
Do you understand? Hence why what happened now really like came out in full effect, which is quite un unfortunate. But I've never had that experience and none of my clients have had that experience. So when people come to me, the first question I ask them is, have you tried it before? If they say yes, then we're good to go. So if they haven't tried it before? Um, I'm always a bit hesitant. Or what I can do is I'll just try just a little bit on a very small part of their body, go home. If you're okay, then you can come the next day and we can do the design for you. Well, the reason they f people feel that it's mostly for women is because it's women that mostly do it. You understand? Um, in India, women do it when they're getting married. It's a form of celebration. It's a form of, you know, joy, happiness, you know. And um, I just thought about, okay, why not... Um, I know a lot of people that love tattoos, but they're scared mm -hmm. of the pain, the fact that a needle is being used to, you know, puncture their skin and, you know. So because of that, they're like, no, I like it, but... I can't go through that, that pain. And what if, you know, two, three years down the line, I get bored and I don't want it anymore? Mm -hmm. What happens? So I just thought, okay, why not just do proper, you know, arty designs for men using henna? Usually it lasts anything from three days to three weeks. For some people, it lasts up to four. It just depends on your skin type. And it also depends on how much the dye sticks to your skin, you know. Mm -hmm. I've seen someone that, you know, he had it done and two, three days later, it was already fading away. <laughs> Personally, no. no sp I don't see any spiritual, and mm -mm, nothing, absolutely nothing. It's just a form of art. And for people that say religiously, it's said that, you know, you shouldn't draw on your skin or, you know, we shouldn't have a tattoo. Well, what I'll say is this, we're not puncturing the skin. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. You know, we're not making any hole or anything. We're just using paste, henna paste, to make a drawing on your skin. That's it, and that's why it fades away after a while. So it's not something that is meant to be permanent. It's only temporary. I leave that choice to them. You know, but most times they come and like, what do you think would look nice on me? So I can now, you know, okay, what do you think about this? But most time I let them do, you know, the choosing. It's their choice because I don't want a situation whereby when we're done and then you'd be like, I don't really like it. That would be a problem, so. You need to have a passion for drawing. And if you don't have a passion for, for drawing, there are stencils and, um, you know, like, uh, it's like a palette that you can use to learn, you know, and, you know, just sort of like, you know how you sketch? Trace. Yes, yes, trace drawing. So you can start with that. And you need to know about the henna itself, the plant itself, how to mix it, you know, all these things. They are very important so that when people ask you about it, you would know you'll be able to give them a response. Henna is a paste associated with positive spirits and good luck. Indian wedding tradition calls for a mehandi or henna ceremony to be held the night before the wedding as a way of wishing the bride good health and prosperity as she makes her journey into marriage. Same belief as other parts of the world that henna is for good luck. To enjoy more of these our Ogunge videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.